Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Spin Fishing series. Today, I'm over here on Quarry. I did buy a new lure. You may see it in the upper uh, left corner here. Uh, new to me, new to this account lure. I've used it many times in the past. But I did buy Hunter 1 zero, 010. Zero. It's got a 3 out of hook on it, same one that it came with. I did not upgrade that. Uh, with it being a rainy, cold day, today here at Cory, I'm hoping for some Arctic char. So, that's been a good Arctic char for me, lure for me in the past. I actually just saw it on BK as well, too. So, figured I'd give that a try. I've also got the Vico 8G003 on rod 2. So, no spinners today. Going all spoons. And we'll see what that gets us. Do I need to spend any points? Spinner bait. Nope, I already have a spoon all the way up. Good. It's a little bit late. It's about 8.20. Been a very busy day for me. So, probably only going to fish during the daylight hours in on this account. only have a day and an hour on the boat anyway so that kind of lines up pretty well marker perch and eh, not a marker just short so the area i'm aiming for is kind of following the loop here and then into the deep thing there. At least that's my goal. I didn't get in the deep part at the start here just because I was trying to get set up. This area has always been a good Arctic char spot for me. Yeah, short of a marker. I know a lot of people have different uh, terminologies for things. Uh, for me, a fish that has the green check mark, and I'll show you one here in a second when I pull this fish in, because this one is definitely what I call a marker. This green check mark uh, flagged or tagged or marker. That's what I mean when I say a marker, and that just means they're of a certain size and therefore worth a lot more. And then if they get bigger than that, it's a gold kind of star. That's a trophy. And bigger than that, it becomes a blue trophy, which is a blue star, or a rare trophy. That was a small fish. I don't even think that was a marker. Nah, 434 gram. Small Arctic char there. This is going to be a pretty good fish. And it's an Arctic char. Two point four seven five, nice fish. There was a downtime last night for the game. I did look at 
or look for patch notes or anything like that. Nothing showed up, so it may have just been a restart of the server. The uh, New Year's Fair, uh, you can still see it. It's still there. So I'm not really sure what it was. Backing off a little bit there on the friction brakes so that I can hear the rods if something grabs it. And I'm going to stop my face for a second. So go ahead and mute. Little maker there, nothing major. Unfortunately, got paged out after the four letter W word while on the other four letter W word with the dog. And so I did not get a chance to eat dinner until right now. So, may go mute a couple times as I stuff a sandwich in my mouth. Actually ordered a uh, patty melt last night for lunch today and was on a call all day during lunch and only ate half of it, so finishing that off. It's like a tiny arctic. We are supposed to get some snow tonight, so it'll be interesting. I keep checking. I said it should start about 6 with some light mix, but I have not seen anything yet. And uh, just took the dog out before this, and it's completely dry out there. So maybe the weatherman's going to be wrong. This is a good fish to be able to pull drag on the HSV.
and it does have the advantage of going I know the boat is pulling it too direction we were going but now it got to where it can dive deeper and it took advantage of that The big boy Arctic. 7.765. Dang it. I think 8 kilo is a trophy, if I remember correctly. Still a nice fish, don't get me wrong. But would love a trophy because a trophy's worth twice as much. baby laker there and i forgot to mute when i was clearing my throat there whoops yeah that's a nice fish actually curious uh, some folks have been getting some big ones Uh, just shy of a U.S. record for the week. Still a good fish. Very happy with that fish. So is the dog. As evidenced by the loud... Snore. <laughs> I just pulled in a seven point seven kilo Arctic char with a HSV and someone else just pulled in a nine kilo on ultralight. So that's a one or 2000 series reel. That would have been a fun fish to catch. And I was wrong, an Arctic Shark trophy's at 11 kilos. So. Not a lot of, I mean, the overall record since the start of 2023 in the U.S. isn't even all trophies here yet. So. Just how rare-ish a large fish like that is. 
That's another good one. Not quite the seven or eight kilos, probably three. Maybe four. Not even three. But a good fish, don't get me wrong, I'm happy about that one. Alright, I want to switch this lure out for another hunter that I have. Let's switch that one for this one. This is the orange hunter. It's a hunter one zero zero three. It's also pretty good with Arctic char. I've had good look, good look, good. Um, the other four letter L word. Good luck with it on uh, Cory char here too. Two point seven two eight kilo quarry uh Arctic char. Brain's already gone. That's not a good sign. Oh, been a day. I was trying to teach myself regex while on a call. Troubleshooting an issue, and that's never a good time. Turns out I was right and didn't need to, and folks that actually knew it proved I was right. What does happen? And if you don't know what I mean by regex, it's uh, not really a programming language or a scripting language, but it's a way to match strings and characters and things like that to compare regular expressions. So I was trying to pull stuff out of a log file using our logging tool and compare hundreds of thousands of lines to see if they were all the same or different or see how many of them had a certain phrase in them or really where what a certain phrase was in the URL it was call, calling so it was fun still something I need to learn but is what it is I don't know if I need to learn it, but it wouldn't hurt. definitely a good question I got in one of the comments about next reels and for this account I'll definitely get another HSV for rod 2 would be my next reel and then I'd have to decide if I'm going to go for a third one or not wouldn't mind having three but at the same time with how busy I've been I don't know if I'm going to 
have the brain power to roll with three rods. Um, the main thing I've been talking with some people that have played the game for years and years and years, you know, level 30s, 40s, 50s uh, accounts, so pretty high level accounts that play almost all day. And the one thing they say is the next thing after an HSV should be a... Uh, and I just forgot what I was going to say because I moved off at a, a Tagara 10,000 would probably be the next upgrade for me over a Nagara. So while the Nagaras do have a little bit higher friction break and all that, they also have a lot, sm uh, a lot higher gear ratio. So they're like a six to one gear ratio. So that means it takes six spins of the reel to kind of equal or six spins at the handle <clears throat> equal one spin of the spool so it just takes forever to reel a fish in especially the smaller fish it gives you a little bit better against the much larger fish but you're going to catch a larger percentage of smaller fish so you get a better catch rate with the Nagara because you're able to pull more fish in quickly. You know, it, the, kind of the difference, especially carp fishing is where a lot of people were talking about it, is you get those 10 or 12 kilo carps, and on the Nagara, it takes a while to pull them in, and on the Tagara, you just rip them right in. It doesn't slow down as much. So... That would kind of be my recommendation if you're staying on the spinning side. Obviously, bait casters um, is an option. I have not gotten into bait casting as much or casting reels in general. So I don't really have a good recommendation there. I may poke around if there's questions on that, but definitely kind of the Nagaras would be my next, or sorry, the uh, Tagaras would be the next steps over the Vangas. And this is a decent fish. Again, this is my smaller reel, so don't get so too excited. This is only an eight kilo reel, and it's also a little bit worn. At least I think it is. Now, if I stopped, I probably would be making better progress, but then I'd probably lose the fish over on rod one. Although the fish over on rod one looks like one I can almost just pull right in. Uh, that might have been a reflection. It's what I saw, I'm going to be happy, but I think I, what I saw was just a reflection. It was. Dang it. Thought I saw a big orange patch. This is still a decent uh, Arctic jar. Yeah, two kilo Arctic. Thought I saw a bright orange patch, which would have been a quarry char. Tiny Arctic. Decent Laker, 1.888. Am 
Marker Perch. Sounds like someone's reliving, meeting the uh, feline entity I've nicknamed Appetizer because I only see it right before dinner. But there is a cat in my, actually it was in my neighbor's yard. And I only see it typically only Friday and Saturdays coming back from the dog walk in, in the evening. And the dog just stared at him for a few minutes and the cat could have cared less. They're just happy to be laying in the yard. My neighborhood has at least... I've seen at least six different outdoor... I'm not going to call them feral cats, but because people feed them. But they're definitely outdoor, roam the neighborhood cats. And I'm allergic to cats, so I kind of hate that. My dog got yelled at because it spooked one of them. And he ran out in front of a car when my dog just was standing there. Not even barking, not whining, not chasing it. Someone who had another cat get run over by a car a couple days before got mad at my dog for existing. Took everything I had not to well, if you took care of your cats and kept them inside, they probably wouldn't have a problem. And now I'm pretty sure those cats are living in a new, in an abandoned house's garage. Which, that house just got bought by a rental company and is about to get basically redone. So, that'll fix that problem, but... They've chewed a hole through, actually two pretty good sized holes through the wood garage door. Which I'm not surprised because it's been cold here. And right before Christmas, we had days where we were not above zero. And being below freezing is normal here, but not necessarily being below zero Fahrenheit. I mean, occasionally for a low, we'll drop below zero, but not... We had a day where a high was below zero. That wasn't normal. And we had 40 to 50 mile an hour winds that day. That was not a fun few days. was one of those that I escorted the dog outside after taking a shower and hadn't completely dried my beard and my beard froze solid. And the dog couldn't even stay outside much longer than doing his business because there was snow on the ground and it was cold and his paws got cold. Another good Arctic char here. 1.6. I think it's been a pretty decent day. I mean, got 32 fish and we're at there. We're not even at 30 minutes yet. So I thought we were about 35 minutes in. So I'm happy with this.
Actually, going back, looking at the comment that was made, I misread it. I saw Venga instead of Narga. So I'm going to have to reply. And I misread him, which I'm not surprised I did. I apologize about that. It, uh, it was not a good day today at work. One of those days where things were... You know, knock on wood, not not too noisy. <clears throat> I had some uh, some Windows patches get pushed out to my computer, and right as I hit reboot, everything went bad. And while it was stuff I support from a hosting perspective, it was not stuff that I directly have ownership of. So stuff I would consume was having problems and I had to prove to them that they were. Which folks listened to me. But I'm also the newer guy on this specific team, so I'm also having to learn what's normal and what's not. It's getting a little bit late in game and in real life. Almost nine o'clock, so I need to get this uploaded. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and just head back to the dock. That was a decent perch there. It also was a small but okay perch. I did not look at the cafe or anything like that, so I don't know if there are any options there. But 36 fish in 35 minutes, not bad at all. Not even 35 minutes, really. So I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess we hit 100 silver and probably above 100 would be my guess, but I'm going to say 100. 128 silver, not bad. That big old Arctic char was with 442 by itself. Let's go see if uh, we had anything for the cafe. Crucians, roach, crucians, grayling, roach. Creams. I don't think we got four 1.6 now. We only got two rough big railings, big lake trout. So nothing for the cafe, but still 128 silver in, you know, half an hour. Not bad at all.
not bad at all so hope you all enjoyed we will see you all tomorrow hope you all have good tight lines between now and then and we'll see you then bye bye now